What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're going to be making a, it's going to be a get ready with me pretty much. And it's going to be my go-to um, full coverage glam maybe. It's the makeup look that I go to every single day when I have to go out and I have to run errands. And today we have a little um, visitor visiting our channel. <laughs> He's, mama needs to record and he doesn't want to fall asleep so guess what? you get to have half of your face in the shot. <laughs> so I don't have time. If you guys are tuning in for the first time here on my channel, I say welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking you the time to watch this video. So I have three kids, so I don't have a lot of time in my hands anymore to glam out and sit down and have like this amazing look with like lashes and liner and all that. I really don't have the time. Um, um, I'm, I do more like realistic everyday easy to do mommy looks pretty much i have three kids like i said i have a nine a five and a four month old baby that requires a lot of attention look at this little piece of chunkiness um that requires a lot of attention and i am fully breastfeeding so it doesn't give me much time to um to get ready you know, so today is going to be a very realistic get ready with me when you have kids and you're like, Francis, how do you do it? How do you get, how do you, how do you do makeup on when you have so much, you have so much on your plate, especially a newborn. So today you guys are going to see what I do and how I do it. <laughs> All right, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this makeup tutorial. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do this video on voiceover. Not because you can't let me record. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do and do the video voiceover, it's way easier, way faster for me because I don't have the time to sit and talk. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial, voiceover. Take it from here, Francis. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with the primer. I'm using the uh, Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I feel like this has worked magic on my skin. Um, it kind of looks makes my skin look more alive, if that's even call it. So I mixed two foundations uh, for color and uh, yeah I almost woke him up <laughs> you don't even know the struggle so I use both infallibles from L'Oreal I'm using the infallible fresh wear I think it's called and then the pro glow and I love the finish of both of them like I said I use one for uh, color because the other one I bought was too too light and the other one of course is too dark so I mix them and I get the perfect shade when I'm tanned and I love the finish of these two together and the fact that they are both long wear, it kind of helps my makeup stay longer. So I'm using two concealers. Uh, one is for like really hide under the eyes and the other one is for brightening. So to really hide under the eye, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And to brighten up, I'm using a little bit of the Infallible uh, concealer. I feel like the Infallible concealer is good, but it's not full coverage. But it definitely does brighten my under eyes. So I like to mix it with the um, Born This Way. And I just pretty much highlight all the key points and high points on my face. So I am going to set and I'm going to be using the Derma Blend uh, powder. I used to bake, no time for baking. So what I do is I do the same thing of baking, but I just pretty much apply the powder with the um, with the sponge. And I make sure that they it really, really sets in there. Then I set my whole entire face with the It Cosmetic CC uh, powder because uh, it gives me more full coverage. Because it is a CC powder. It's not a regular um, powder. So I just pretty much set my whole face with the powder. It gives me more full coverage. And I like it. How <laughs> it looks. So I move on to my brows. My brows is where it takes me the longest. Um, I'm thinking to do something with my brows pretty soon. Because I just feel like I've spent so much time with my brows. So I just do my brows um, at this point. I used to do them before, but I just do them now in while I'm doing my makeup. So we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm using the Born, the not the Born, the, what is this palette called? Oh my God, I'm like all over the place. This is called the Urban Decay. Um, wow, I drew blank. Anyways, this Urban Decay palette, I'm going to leave it down below and the names of the shadows that I'm using. I'm using this shadow just to pretty much... Um, use it as my crease on my crease and then I'm using a smaller brush and I'm using the same color that I use on my crease 
on the bottom just to kind of tie the whole look together. It makes it look more like cohesive. Then I'm using the bottom shade right there. It's more like a metallic shimmery color. And I'm using that on my lids. It kind of blends perfectly with the crease color. I feel like it's the same color, but this one is, of course, like more metallic. So I like the I like the mixture of the metallic and the matte. So all I do is I blend both on both of the shadows together just to make sure that everything looks well blended and there's no harsh lines. And then I go in with the Better Than Sex 2 Face Mascara. And I do lots of coats of mascara, guys, because I do not apply any liner whatsoever. I haven't applied liner on my eyes for the past seven, eight months, I have to say. No gel liner, no lashes, no nothing. So now I'm moving on to bronzer, and I'm using the Hoola bronzer by Benefit and that other bronzer. But mainly I use the Hoola bronzer, to be honest, because I felt like it gave me the perfect um, shade that I wanted. I like to highlight I like to bronze up my face so I like to do it on pretty much like all over my face as you can see like on my forehead and all those and my nose as well. I do a soft contour on my nose. Then I'm using this note uh, blush. I love the color. It's really pigmented and I just love how it ties with the eyes. And I'm using the Pixi Dual Glow highlight and I love this highlight guys. It's been I've been using it nonstop. It is super Super, super, super pigmented, as you can see. And then I move on to the lip, and I'm using Nude Chica by Dose of Color and Love Sarai. I love the color. Like I said, it I feel like it matches perfectly the eyes. And the cool thing about it is that it lasts all day. And then to give it a little glow, I use the Pixie Glow Mist, and I set my makeup with it. And that's it, guys. This is my everyday full glam makeup look. All right, guys. So there you have it. This is my glam look. It's easier when you already have it like down packed. Um, I feel like out of this look, what takes me the most is my eyebrows. I'm thinking to get my eyebrows microdermabladed, micropigmented, I don't even know how to say it. But I feel like, um, yeah, my brows are the ones who take me the longest time to get them. But everything else is very quite simple, very honestly. I just, I've been doing it for so long that it get, it's, it make, it's very easy for me to do. Like, honestly, I don't, I cannot take more than 30 minutes doing my makeup. And if it's 30 minutes, I've extended like too much. Um, I can't because his naps are like anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. I'll say anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes are his naps. So I do have to kind of work my makeup routine around that time frame. So now he's napping, but he's kind of like already kind of moving or whatever. So that means my time here is done, guys. That means that my 25 minutes of putting on makeup has come to an end. So if you like the tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have not yet. See, I told you, if you have not yet to subscribe to my channel, my channel, my channel, please consider subscribing. It, it, a lot of work goes into making these videos when you have a new, when you have a baby. So anyways, I gotta go mommy duties. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.